Diary, Wikipedia article audio. A diary is a record with discrete entries arranged by date reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or other period. A personal diary may include a person's experiences, and slash or thoughts or feelings, including comments on current events outside the writer's direct experience. Someone who keeps a diary is known as a diarist. Diaries undertaken for institutional purposes play a role in many aspects of human civilization, including government records, business ledgers, and military records. In British English, the word may also denote a pre-printed journal format. Etymology Today the term is generally employed for personal diaries, normally intended to remain private or to have a limited circulation amongst friends or relatives. The word journal may be sometimes used for diary, but generally a diary has daily entries, whereas journal writing can be less frequent. Although a diary may provide information for a memoir, autobiography, or biography, it is generally written not with the intention of being published as it stands, but for the author's own use. In recent years, however, there is internal evidence in some diaries that they are written with eventual publication in mind, with the intention of self-vindication or simply for profit. History by extension the term diary is also used to mean a printed publication of a written diary, and may also refer to other terms of journal including electronic formats. Published Diaries The word diary comes from the Latin diarium. The word journal comes from the same root through Old French journal. Internet Diaries the earliest use of the word to mean a book in which a daily record was written was in Ben Jonson's comedy Valpone in 1605. Digital Diaries The oldest extant diaries come from Middle Eastern and East Asian cultures, although the even earlier work to myself, today known as the Meditations, written in Greek by the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius in the second half of the second century AD, already displays many characteristics of a diary. Pillow books of Japanese court ladies and Asian travel journals offer some aspects of this genre of writing, although they rarely consist exclusively of diurnal records. The scholar Lee Ao, for example, kept a diary of his journey through southern China. Other Forms of Diaries In the medieval Near East, Arabic diaries were written from before the 10th century. The earliest surviving diary of this era which most resembles the modern diary was that of Ibn Banna in the 11th century. His diary is the earliest known to be arranged in order of date, very much like modern diaries. The precursors of the diary in the modern sense include daily notes of medieval mystics, concerned mostly with inward emotions and outward events perceived as spiritually important. Bullet Journal Diet Journal Sleep Diary Tage Book From the Renaissance on, some individuals wanted not only to record events, as in medieval chronicles and itineraries, but also to put down their own opinions and express their hopes and fears, without any intention to publish these notes. One of the early preserved examples is the anonymous journal Dion Bourgeois de Paris that covers the years 1405-49, giving subjective commentaries on the current events. Famous 14th to 16th century Renaissance examples, which appeared much later as books, were the diaries by the Florentines Bonacurso Pitti and Gregorio Detai and the Venetian Marino Sanudo the Younger. Here we find records of even less important everyday occurrences together with much reflection, emotional experience, and personal impressions. 
In 1908 the Smithson Company created the first featherweight diary, enabling diaries to be carried about. Many diaries of notable figures have been published and form an important element of autobiographical literature. Samuel Pepys is the earliest diarist who is well known today, his diaries, preserved in Magdalene College, Cambridge, were first transcribed and published in 1825. Pepys was amongst the first who took the diary beyond mere business transaction notation, into the realm of the personal. Pepys' contemporary John Evelyn also kept a notable diary, and their works are among the most important primary sources for the English Restoration period, and consist of eyewitness accounts of many great events, such as the Great Plague of London, and the Great Fire of London. The practice of posthumous publication of diaries of literary and other notables began in the 19th century. As examples, the Grasmere Journal of Dorothy Wordsworth was published in 1897, the journals of Fanny Burney were published in 1889, the diaries of Henry Crabb Robinson were published in 1869. Among important U.S. Civil War diaries are those of George Templeton Strong, a New York City lawyer, and Mary Chestnut, the wife of a Confederate officer. The diary of Jemima Conduct, living in the area of what is now West Orange, New Jersey, includes local observations of the American Revolutionary War. Since the 19th century the publication of diaries by their authors has become commonplace notably amongst politicians seeking justification but also amongst artists and literateurs of all descriptions. Amongst late 20th century British published political diaries, those of Richard Crossman, Tony Benn and Alan Clark are representative, the latter being more indiscreet in the tradition of the diaries of Chips Channon. In Britain in the field of the arts notable diaries were published by James Lees Milne, Roy Strong and Peter Hall. One of the most famous modern diaries, widely read and translated, is the posthumously published The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, who wrote it while in hiding during the German occupation of Amsterdam in the 1940s. Otto Frank edited his daughter's diary and arranged for its publication after the war. Many edits were made before the diary was published in other countries. This was due to the sexually explicit material, which also led to some libraries banning the book. The writing of diaries was also often practiced from the 20th century onwards as a conscious act of self-exploration examples being the diaries of Carl Jung, Aleister Crowley and Anais Nin. Among important diaries by 20th century literary figures are those of Franz Kafka, Edmund Wilson and the French writer Paul Lee who taught it. The self-reflective diary Divine Mercy in My Soul written by St. Faustina contains accounts of her visions and conversations with Jesus. A strong psychological effect may arise from having an audience for one's self-expression, even if this is the book one writes in, only read by oneself, particularly in adversity. Anne Frank went so far as to address her diary as Kitty. Friedrich Kellner a court official in Nazi Germany, thought of his diary as a weapon for any future fight against tyrants and terrorism, and named it Main Wider Stand, My Opposition. Victor Klemperer was similarly concerned with recording for the future the tyrannies and hypocrisies of Nazi Germany and of its East German successor state in his diaries. In none of these cases however did the authors anticipate early or indeed any publication. As Internet access became commonly available, many people adopted it as another medium in which to chronicle their lives with the added dimension of an audience. The first online diary is thought to be Claudio Pinhane's Open Diary, 
published at the MIT Media Lab website from November 14, 1994 until 1996. Other early online diarists include Justin Hall, who began 11 years of personal online diary writing in 1994, Carolyn Burke, who started publishing Carolyn's Diary on January 3, 1995, and Brian Sutherland, who announced his diary The Semi-Existence of Brian in a Usenet newsgroup on April 19, 1995. The Internet has also served as a way to bring previously unpublished diaries to the attention of historians and other readers, such as the diary of Michael Shiner, a 19th-century slave who documented his life in Washington, D.C. Web-based services such as Open Diary and Live Journal soon appeared to streamline and automate online publishing, but growth in personal storytelling came with the emergence of blogs. While the format first focused on external links and topical commentary, widespread blogging tools were quickly used to create web journals. Recent advances have also been made to enable the privacy of Internet diary entries. For example, some diary software now stores entries in encrypted format, such 256-bit ease encryption, and others only permit access to the diary after correct PIN entry on a secure USB device. With the popularization of mobile apps, diary or journaling apps have become available for iOS and Android. Proponents cite the following as primary reasons for journaling with digital applications, ease and speed of typing, mobile portability, search capabilities, entry location, date and other metadata from mobile phones, and, tags and other organizational features. Digital diaries also seem tailored towards shorter form, in-the-moment writing similar to user engagement with Facebook, Twitter, INSTagram, and other social media services. A Bullet Journal is a daily journal and planner created by writer Carol. Actions and tasks for the day are recorded in a rapid log using symbols to differentiate and categorize items. A Bullet Journal is referred to as a bullet and Joe. A diet journal or food diary is a daily record of all food and beverage consumed as a means of tracking calorie consumption for the purpose of weight loss or other nutritional monitoring. A sleep diary or sleep log is a tool used in the diagnosis and treatment of sleep disorders or to keep track of dreams had in order to gain insight to the subconscious or for other further contemplating. The German Tage book is normally rendered as diary in English, but the term encompasses workbooks or working journals as well as diaries proper. For example, the notebooks of the Austrian writer Robert Musel and of the German Swiss artist Paul Klee are called Tage Butcher. A travel journal, travel diary, or road journal, is the documentation of a journey or series of journeys. A war diary is a regularly updated official record of a military unit's administration and activities during wartime maintained by an officer in the unit. There are numerous examples of fictional diaries. One of the earliest printed fictional diaries was The Humorous Diary of a Nobody by George Grossmith and his brother Whedon. 20th century examples include radio broadcasts and published books. Both prompted long-running satirical features in the magazine Private Eye, the former entitled M.R.S. Wilson's Diary in reference to Mary Wilson, wife of Prime Minister Harold Wilson, the latter entitled The Secret Diary of John Major aged 47 3 4 and written as a pastiche of the Adrian Mole Diaries from the perspective of the then Prime Minister John Major. A modern example includes the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series where each book of the series is written in a first-person view of the main character, as if the book was an actual diary. 
Other examples are the bird diaries and the cell phone diaries in the Japanese manga and anime television series Future Diary. Travel Journal War Diary Fictional Diaries <laughs>